all Landa nanographic printing presses have two things in common. They come in four and eight color <coughs> configurations and they all employ the most amazing user-friendly touch screen. When it comes to particle size, smaller is better. But when it comes to touch screens, bigger is better. And these presses come with a three meter long interactive display with its man-machine interface enabling even an untrained operator to quickly become a master. The machine controls here are on the right and on the left end of the press, allowing the press to be operated either from the feeder or the delivery end. The right-hand section here is concerned with job management. And here you can see each individual job, either graphically or in a spreadsheet. And to help the operator, we have built-in intelligence, which, for example, could suggest the optimum job queuing in order to receive maximum press, press efficiency. And over on the left end of the press are all of the live interactive graphics that display the status updates of the different parts of the press. And also, inside the press are cameras feeding over here to the monitor a live picture of what's happening with the feeder, with the press uh, impression area, and with the delivery. Every function of the press, such as ink supply, operational status, are displayed in clear and intuitively comprehensible graphics. And now, to round things off, the incredible Landa W50 nanographic press for direct mail, trans promo, and publishing applications capable of printing at up to 200 meters per minute. <laughs> can manage one, two, three, maybe even four presses at a time. And any time the operator leaves the immediate vicinity of the press, the press knows and automatically changes to the vital signs mode, allowing the operator to see what's happening with the press from up to 40 meters away while he's taking care of other business or maybe even taking a coffee break. He can also monitor and control the press from his remote touchpad. <laughs> uh, cappuccinos for the press operators here, please. Print samples can be magnetically mounted on the display, and the wireless loop allows the press operator to look at what's going on on the sheets, 
to examine, compare, and analyze the graphics. Landon Nano Inc. is provided in 15 kilogram containers that are easily replaceable by the operators and automatically diluted in the press using the, the customer's own water, saving lots of energy by not shipping water around the globe. And then the empty nano ink containers occupy minimum volume and can be recycled along with your beverage containers. <laughs> and when it comes to service, there's never been a press for operators to access more easily. At the touch of a button, the display screen moves out of the way and gives the operator complete access to the entire paper path for jam removals and adjustments. And now the brains behind these beautiful presses, once again, Mr. Benny Landa. Robin, thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as I asked you before, so what does all of this mean for the future of printing? And what does this mean for your future? Well, if you are a packaging printer, your present business is probably doing quite well, and your future also looks pretty bright. Because so long as society needs food, it will come packaged in beautifully printed containers. But what if you're in commercial printing? What are you doing? What are you producing? You are producing communication. You're producing brochures, cell sheets, magazines, newspapers, flyers, direct mail. You are producing communication. For my part, I find it hard to believe that a hundred years from now, mankind will be communicating by crushing trees and smearing pigment on them. Surely, digital media will by then have replaced, for the most part, printed media. But the question we all have to ask ourselves is, when is this going to happen? Well, mankind has been communicating on paper for 5,000 years, and has been printing on paper for almost 600 years. Well, printed media is not going to disappear for the next many, many decades. Well, for most of us in the room and for our children, many, many decades is over the horizon. That isn't the question. The question is, how do I prosper from my business as the printing industry transitions from mechanical printing through digital printing to ultimately digital media? How do I prosper? Now you're probably thinking, I'm about to say, well, you should become a digital print shop. And if that's what you're thinking, you'd be wrong. Because it is not about the 2%, it's about the 98%. And do you know where that 98% is right now? It's in your shop. And that's where the huge opportunity is. Because you already do long-run printing. And believe me, for the foreseeable future, nothing is going to challenge offset when the run lengths are millions or hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands. This is the supreme efficient process. However, because offset requires printing plates and make ready, the shorter the run lengths, the less profitable offset becomes. The trouble is, that's where your customers want you to go, to shorter and shorter run lengths. You already have these jobs, you just can't produce them profitably today. That's why we invented digital printing in the first place. To do the very short one length, and from a run length of one digital printing is very profitable. The trouble is, with a high cost per page, the limited format sizes and limited speed, as run lengths increase, digital printing also becomes less and less profitable, and that leaves a gigantic gap where today it is really impossible to make a lot of money, but that's where your customers need you to go. That's where Landa Nanographic Printing comes in. We fill that gap and enable you to be profitable up to thousands of B1 sheets per run length. Thousands of B1 
sheets. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have heard this message clearly and that you are saying to yourself, wow, I really want one of these presses. And if you are, I invite you to meet with one of our salespeople and we'd be very happy to sign a letter of intent with you. We will require a, 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 a very modest deposit just as a sign of seriousness, and we'd be happy to sign you up on a letter of intent. Our salespeople are waiting to talk with you. But is that enough to convince you? A demonstration at Drupa? No. I don't think any of you would buy a printing press based on that, because there's two ingredients missing. Number one, you are more than likely a family-owned, relatively small business. For you to buy a printing press of any kind, requires a massive investment. You might have to mortgage your home. You might have to borrow from your mother-in-law. If you make a mistake, you are jeopardizing your, your, your livelihood and you may be jeopardizing your marriage. So the last thing you could afford to do is make a mistake. What would a mistake be? Well, you'd be buying the wrong technology. How do you know this is the right technology? I mean, go outside and everyone else will tell you, don't go that way, go this way. So that's why we have created a new strategy, sort of a new order in the printing industry. We've announced on the eve of Drupa, global strategic partnerships with the largest, most reliable printing companies in the world. We've announced a global strategic partnership with Heidelberg, one with Komori, one with Man Roland, and the list hasn't ended yet. Why have we done all of that? We have done that for you because you need two additional ingredients apart from what we've shown you today. You need, number one, to know that this is the right decision. And what better way to know that it's the right decision than it's the one that everybody has embraced, industry-wide acceptance of this as being, nanography as being the technology of next generation printing. Everybody's doing it. You could not have a more certain um, confidence-building measure than that. But there's one more thing missing. You undoubtedly, as a small business with a huge dependence on your supplier, you undoubtedly have a relationship already with your vendor of presses. And from our experience with the customers, there's a huge level of, of trust between the customer and the vendor. Heidelberg customers want to buy from Heidelberg. Komori customers want to buy from Komori and so on. And that level of trust took decades to build and it is well deserved. I don't think anybody in this room would like to buy a press from somebody who has a monopoly who's not their favorite vendor. So therefore, these strategic alliances give you, I believe, what you now need, the confidence to know, yes, this is the right direction, and yes, I can get this from my vendor who I already trust, who I am I'm prepared to trust him with my future, both offset printing and nanographic printing, both of which are complementary, not competitive. And therefore, that's why we offer you this choice. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation. I have three things to say to you before I leave you. The first is, you each received a souvenir fake leather briefcase when you came in. Please don't forget it in the theater. The second thing is, before you leave the theater, Please don't leave until there's, uh, I've prepared a little message for you, it'll appear on the screen at the end. Please don't leave until you've seen that. And lastly, I hope you all leave here saying to yourselves, apart from the fact that I hope you enjoyed the presentation, I hope you all leave here saying to yourselves, wow, I have seen the future and it is worth waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.